Jonathan here with Collectibles to Astonish, and I have a Marvel Legends Facebook haul of action figures. And I ended up contacting this person, you know, through Facebook uh, Marketplace. They had originally a listing for boxed figures of Star Wars uh, Black Series and Marvel Legends figures. They wanted $15 a piece. Uh, when I had messaged them, a uh, few of them were already taken. Uh, these figures that were taken were probably about $35 to $100 figures. Uh, one including uh, the old school Thanos um, comic accurate more or less figure. That one was taken. But one thing I noticed in this picture um, was that there were loose figures on the very, very top. And I didn't see a listing for them on the person's uh, profile. So I ended up messaging them, asking if they were available, and they said yes. And so they sent me this picture here of the figures. And out of this picture, I noticed I had the gore, I had the ghost, uh, the Black Panther figures, the Ronin figure. I want to say there's maybe only four or five figures that I had. And also on the top was some builder figure pieces I could, I could see in the picture. So I asked them if they had the accessories and, and such for them. Um, and they said that they did and I asked if they had a price of mind and they wanted ten dollars uh, for ten figures 40 bucks 20 for 50 so I think I counted originally 43 in the picture there might have been 44 in the picture but um, I said to them is that a little over a hundred dollars and they said yeah 120 for all of them so with 44 in the picture the price point would have been two dollars and 73 cents so I thought let me just get them all Whatever duplicates I have, I'll just worry about later on and figure out the rest later. So I ended up, again, picking these up. It was a lady that was posting these for her son. Her son was probably in his early 20s. He still reads comics and collects, but he didn't want to, I guess, have these anymore. So I didn't actually count all of the figures when I met him in person because I started to notice as I was get, opening these, uh, taking these figures out of the bags that he had, that they were more figures than what originally were anticipated. Like this Luis figure wasn't in there. So that that was a great deal, essentially. I ended up getting 49 figures total. And a lot of them had their accessories. Again, it, it was all in a, a white garbage bag. And I ended up just uh, taking the night off and enjoying the fact that I got a really good deal. This was one of the things that I had wanted. Uh, I was hoping that all the accessories were for this Hello figure. I thought this was really cool. Something I, I wanted to have on display. Uh, I believe this is Sif. So that was another cool f figure that was in the, the lot. Uh, Malekith. Uh, this is, I think, the comic book accurate one. Uh, I, I don't think they made one for the movie. Because uh, that didn't even look like that character, um, essentially. was able to get this uh, Deadpool. This is my first Deadpool figure outside of the um, Marvel Selects version. Did have like a lot of accessories, so thankfully I was able to get a fair amount of the accessories that uh, originally came with this these figures. Uh, he was part of that Hella 2-pack. So that was awesome to have him as well. Again, a lot of the accessories were, were there. But a couple of figures that uh, didn't have it. This one here, I already have. I bought it recently, I think, from Ollie's. Because uh, this whole wave came up for sale. Fortunately, it's got some wear on it. I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to clean it up and figure to either not open up the one I have. I don't have any uh, Captain Marvel figures or, or Kree figures. So I was actually kind of happy with that. I'm, I think most people don't you know, care for Captain Marvel or, or those figures, but uh, another plenty of Iron Man figures, plenty of Thor figures. Definitely want to, I, I might go down the rabbit hole of actually having each suit. Uh, Ronan, I think he's missing an accessory or two, maybe, I'm not sure. Again, for the $2.45 price, I thought that was pretty good. So I think this is what the Ragnarok um, Thor. 
And I want to say that this one, this might have been the two pack, uh, Bucky and and Falcon, from the ten years. A lot of a lot of the figures I noticed were, or a couple of them were like the, the ten year two pack figures, uh, like like this one here. I think this is like Crossbones, and um, Captain America. So I was very happy to have Crossbones and his alternate head. So the this Ultron, I was actually surprised how tall he is. This is I thought I think also that ten year figure as well. So didn't have one. I just started getting back into collecting. I want to say before Christmas, when Ollie's and Ross started. Killing it with getting all of the action figures and stuff that they have been getting at such a cheap price. Uh, this Red Guardian, he is missing his um, his shield. I have the other two pack with the um, I think a better figure of uh, the Yelena Belova or the the new Black Widow. I'm not too fond of this one. I think all she has is just a small gun. I don't think she has any other accessories, unfortunately, with that one. Uh, this one I was actually pretty happy to, to, to find. Um, the Ego, that was again not in the picture. And so I, I, I did want this figure or this set. I think the head sculpt of, of that Peter Quill is pretty good. I was actually surprised. There's like a little small, I think, cassette that I think probably everybody ends up losing or forgetting. or And that was actually in there. I didn't have this Black Knight figure, uh, but I do have one head and the sword. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it for customization or if I just should just get rid of it. Another Iron Man figure. Again, I have to figure out which ones I have. If there's like any duplicates, I don't think that this guy collected duplicates. Uh, I've got Taskmaster. I have his shield, and I'm not sure if he's missing anything else. Uh, does have a little bit of wear. I gotta, I gotta clean him up. Maybe with like a, either soap and water or maybe like a, a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I think this Black Widow figure is missing something. Again, it, I, I've, it's been about a month or so since I've gone through the figures and uh, figure out um, what I, I mean. I knew what I had back then. Uh, I don't have this thing i do have the other version i think it's like the retro card one uh cool thing is that it, it came with the scroll heads so i'm definitely going to keep those uh just for probably for customization and such oops uh, i didn't have this black panther i don't i think i got the the legacy versions from ollie's i think this is the okoye okoye version so it's got her head sculpt in there and then it's got, you know, I'm not sure if I like this version of uh, Chadwick Boseman or not. This was, uh, this was something I was very happy to find that he actually had the accessories for, which is War Machine. So I think that's a great figure. Uh, I did have the Taskmaster shield. I do, I, I don't have uh, this version of the Wasp and... Um, Ant-Man, I don't like that that stupid look of Paul Rudd on on, on the, the sculpt. Uh, this isn't complete. I don't think she has her wings. I think that was the only thing I was disappointed with. But uh, it'll be definitely be great to put on the shelf as is. Uh, Vulture, he had the Vulture, but uh, just the one that uh, came like it is with the backpack or the, the you know the wings. So. I'm not really too much of a fan of this, of, of, I don't know, the posability of this. So I don't know if I'm going to complete it or just get one complete. Because I think now you can pretty much buy one complete. You know, no problem. Another Thor figure. Another Captain Marvel figure. Also with the uh, second head sculpt there. Thankfully, I, I actually don't have any Captain Marvel figures, so I think that's like probably my first. Uh, I think this is like U Ulysses Claw. I was very happy that uh, he had both versions of the arms. The one that comes with the weapon comes out of it. I like that. 
I think that's cool. Definitely go with the Black Panther figures that I have. The figure that I saw in the picture, this one didn't have a hand. And I was kind of concerned uh, whether or not I'd find it or he'd include it. But I don't even think that this uh, hand is what came with this figure. I think this is part of the three-pack figure because I have the Doctor Strange in here as well. And he's missing a hand. Um, I don't think I have it because... I kind of went through all of the accessories, and I might have put it in the wrong batch of, of figures, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, another Black Panther figure. Again, I think this is different than the Legacy one that I picked up. I believe this is what, Ronin? I, I have this 10-year figure. I ended up picking up this, I think, for like 10 bucks uh, through Ollie's. I think a lot of Ollie's still have them for sale for 10 bucks, but... Again, I was getting back into collecting, and I figured, well, $10 for me to pick it up in store, in box. I don't think that's a bad price. So we got Loki here, and the cube. He has the cube right there, the cosmic cube. So, cool. I don't, I don't, I don't think I have any figures of him. This was probably, like, one of the my favorite pickups of, um, of the bunch, uh, because he has his other hands as well. I think he might be missing one hand. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It's been, like I said, about a month or so. So I'm hoping, you know, after this video, I can go ahead and start putting these up on display. These are the uh, two-pack of the, um, what, AIM, AIM Troopers or AIM figures. So I want to pick up a MODOK. So it'll be a good start to have those. Almost down to the last bit here. Uh, seems like a lot more Captain America and Thor figures than I would have thought or imagined. So I think this is what the Gladiator Hulk. Um, that's all that is included, I guess. I, he doesn't have the other pieces. I think this is the uh, M'Baku M M um, chess piece. And I think this is Crimson Dynamo. And I think this is like the Bro Thor. I have the chest and I have the arms. And then I can't remember. This is, I think, a Cree Sentry or something, I think, offhand. And then, oops. And then the last thing I have there uh, in this bag here. And I don't know why I put them in the bag, not in the box with everything else. Um, but. We've got a Wolverine. He's missing one claw. I, I think I like the head sculpt that's on it right now versus the one with the cowboy hat. That's a figure I didn't have. This is some kind of Star Wars cape. I have to figure out maybe Google. I tried Google Lens. I couldn't find out what that was for. I've got another uh, Thor figure. Uh, this is the Doctor Strange that I was talking about. I think it's part of the original uh, three-pack uh, with Thanos. Uh, he's missing a hand. I'm pretty sure he is. Uh, I have to look for it. That's probably why I didn't put it in the box, because I need to resolve, I guess, that before I figure out what I'm going to do with it. I can't remember. I think this might be another um, Crimson Dynamo piece. Uh, this one here is another another Thor figure he's missing I think his cape and the rest that's in here are essentially just uh, ha different hands and accessories uh, I think I have an extra Captain America cape and I have to figure out where um, those uh, Thor pieces go to which figure but yeah that's pretty much it uh, overall, like I said, I'm very happy that I was able to pick this up from the guy. Ended up coming out to like $2.45 a figure, which I don't think uh, is, is bad at all. Uh, some of them, like I said, have a little bit of scuff marks and, and wear from just kind of like being thrown in the box and stuff like that. But this uh, guy was an adult owner, um, and I'm sure he just had them displayed. And it just when it came probably to time to... Uh, storm he didn't really storm properly but anyways 
I uh, appreciate you watching this video. Let me know in the comment section how you think I did. I'll have another haul video of some other Marvel Legends figures that I picked up as well. Um, but I wanted to just single out this specific one because I thought it was a pretty good deal. So thanks for watching and uh, take care. Bye.